is the way the world is evolving now. I mean, the way the world of business is evolving. By the year 2028 or even slightly earlier than that, thanks to rapid changes in technology, thanks to technologies like artificial intelligence, blockchain, machine learning have come into the fore. And the way our lives have been impacted because of technology, we believe that this has a huge disruptive effect on the way we live our lives and we conduct our businesses. Now, way back in 2014, if I may quote Mr. Satya Nadella, the head of Microsoft, the business opportunity for the transformation or the digital transformation to be specific is about $5 trillion. And this is a prediction that he made way back in 2014. And I'm taking one sector to quote an example, the Indian agriculture sector. Between 2018 and 2021 or 22, more than 300 companies have invested in tech-enabled businesses in agriculture in India. Now that is going to transform the entire landscape of agriculture in supply chains. COVID has created a huge opportunity for the usage of technology. Take education which we are all in. Today, EdTech has provided multiple opportunities for learners not to look at conventional education alone, but also to seek avenues and to enroll in courses and programs and certifications at the comfort of their timings. So today, skilling is available for the asking. Massive online open platforms are there. We call them MOOCs. Within India, we are talking about platforms like Swayam and we are looking at multinational platforms like Coursera, for example. These are areas where disruptions are going to happen in a big way. And I'm sure because of this, the gross enrollment ratio also will improve across, not only in universities that were run by government all these days, but also in close to 400 universities, which have emerged in the last decade or so. So all this is happening simultaneously. Let's appreciate that these are not happening as standalone events. These are happening simultaneously. So I'm sure as we progress and as we move on, skills will become part of any program, whether it's arts, science, commerce, or any other area. And uh, the emergence of STEM degrees, or I'm talking of STEM focus areas in business management also, to quote it very narrowly, and the manner in which a lot of premier US colleges are now trying to attract students from China and India to the US with the promise of a three-year OPT are all indications that business degrees at the UG level and the PG level will be eventually clearly divided 50-50% into knowledge and skills. All these days, we used to call business as a social science or business management as social science. But today, you cannot call it social science because there is a huge tech component built into it. And we at IBS, if I business school Hyderabad, have ensured that in all domain areas at the PG level, that is MBA, and at the UG level, we are introducing courses in both these programs at the UG and PG to ensure that students are sufficiently skilled when they go out. Let me take one quick example. In finance, for example, we have fintech. We have AI now come in a big way. In the undergraduate program, cloud computing and cybersecurity will be a program now. We're talking about AI and data science as a program now. And across the three-year program in the undergraduate and the two-year program in the MBA, skills will become an integral part of each and every course, either as an elective or as an integral part of the regular course. So we believe because of these interventions, students are going to be absorbed in industry in your technical roles or techno-commercial roles or pure management leadership roles of the future.